breathing does impact on health in, in many different ways. Because breathing is connected to so many systems in the body, when breathing is disturbed, a lot of different systems can struggle to maintain healthy function. We're breathing, hyperventilating will become too alkaline and then eventually become too acid. Then the way oxygen is taken up can be affected by hyperventilation. And then also, you know, breathing is like this pump, this kind of constant pumping movement that's creating pressure change throughout the body. And those pressure changes are really affecting the heart, the circulation, the flow of lymph. And then because breathing is, is also attached to other systems, like for example the digestive system, so if you're not breathing well, if your diaphragm isn't functioning well, if it's in the wrong position, that can contribute to reflux and to digestive and gastrointestinal problems. Breathing is the most common way that people will regulate their state. They'll self-regulate for arousal or stress or mood. And if breathing is a pleasant experience and because your breathing mechanisms are all working well, then you can use breathing to relax and feel good. But when breathing is really disturbed, then if you focus on your breath, it just makes you feel uncomfortable and worse. If you've got poor breathing and it's all out of kilter, then you can't even use your breath to relax and feel good. And then there are things like posture, motor control, core stability. They're, they're all very much affected by how you breathe. Pelvic floor issues, incontinence, pelvic floor pain, actually very connected with breathing. Breathing influences blood pressure and the health of the heart. Breathing affects speech. There are all kinds of voice problems that are all come back to breathing. So breathing is a lot more important than a lot of people realise.